So people are constantly on the lookout for the next binge-worthy show to watch or the next binge-worthy series to watch. Well, I'd like to introduce you to what I think is very binge-worthy. It's from the dudes at The Bible Project, and they make these fantastic collection of short animated videos to introduce people to the Bible, tell the stories of the Bible in a very fun, digestible way, and I highly recommend it. If you've heard of The Bible Project, great. You already know what I'm talking about. But if you've never checked out The Bible Project, then I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite episodes called The Son of Man. If you read the New Testament, you'll notice that the most common title people use to describe Jesus is the Christ. That is, the Messiah. But surprisingly, Jesus almost never used that word to describe himself. Instead, he called himself the Son of Man. The Son of Man. What does that mean? Well, the phrase comes from an important chapter in the book of Daniel in the Old Testament. Daniel was an Israelite prisoner of war who was forced to live in the empire of Babylon and work for the prideful, violent king who destroyed his home. That sounds horrible. And while he was living and working in Babylon, Daniel had this crazy prophetic dream. You ready for it? I'm ready. He saw four beasts crawling out of a dark sea, hybrid monster-like animals, each scarier than the one before. And the fourth beast is so mutant, there's nothing to compare it to. And it's violent, leaving death and destruction in its wake. What in the world is this about? Well, he's told that these beasts symbolize violent, prideful kings and their empires. Oh, like the one Daniel's enslaved to. Yeah, and these creatures might seem random to you, but these images are developing an important biblical theme. How humans are these remarkable creatures capable of doing great good and horrible evil. How we can behave like animals. Right. Look at the first pages of the Bible. God creates the beasts of the field and humans together, all from the dust. But then the humans are set apart and given a royal task of being God's image. So humans are like the animals, but called to become much more. Yeah, they're to be God's representatives on earth, ruling on his behalf like kings and queens. But keep reading, and the humans are deceived by a beast who says that they could be more than just God's partners. Yeah, that they could rule the world on their own terms, which sounds good to them. But God knows this will be a disaster. And so he expels the humans to the realm of the beasts. The partnership is lost. But God makes a promise that one day a human will be born who won't give in to the beast. Rather, he'll overcome and strike the beast while being struck by it. Okay, so for the rest of the biblical story, we're waiting for that human. But instead, in story after story, we find people acting like beasts. Yeah, like in the next story about Cain, who's jealous and angry at his brother Abel. God warns Cain that he's facing a beastly urge called sin, a dark, mysterious kind of evil that consumes humans. But God says that Cain can rule the beast if he chooses. But he doesn't rule the beast. He lets this urge devour him, and he becomes a beast. And then after this, Cain's children spread their animal-like violence, and it leads to the founding of a whole civilization known for its beastly pride, the city of Babylon. Okay, Babylon. So fast forward, this is where Daniel is enslaved, having this bizarro dream. Exactly. Now, watch what happens next in Daniel's dream. He sees into God's throne room where a court is set up, and God condemns the beast to destruction. That's great. And then Daniel sees that there's actually more than one divine throne. Oh, right, the throne that humanity left behind. Right. There hasn't been a human who's able to overcome the beast and rule alongside God until now. Daniel sees a figure called the Son of Man, which means a human. And he rides on a cloud up into God's presence and then sits down on the divine throne to rule the world. The partnership's renewed. Yes, and even more, all humanity worships and serves this Son of Man alongside God. Oh, huh, worship? So this is no ordinary human. This is like a God human. Exactly. And so now you can see why Jesus of Nazareth, when he came onto the scene centuries later, chose this title, the Son of Man, for himself. He was claiming to be that truly human one on a mission to confront the beast. He was tempted to seize power on the beast's terms. 
But unlike every human before him, Jesus resisted the urge. And then he went about banishing the beast from people's lives. And he was teaching people how to rule the beast instead of being ruled by it. Okay, so how do you rule the beast? Well, Jesus did it by giving up his life. Wait, rule the beast by dying? Yes. When Jesus was on trial in a human courtroom and being condemned to death, he said, From this moment on, you will see the Son of Man sitting at God's right hand and coming on the clouds. But this is the moment he's about to die. Exactly. From one perspective, the cross looks like a beastly torture device. But Jesus viewed it as his throne. And on this throne, he exposed the subhuman nature of our evil by letting it do its worst. And then he overcame it with his divine life and love. Jesus' execution was his exaltation. So Jesus is the first human to overcome the beast. And as a result, he can partner with God to rule the world. And so now, Jesus is summoning a new humanity into existence. One that can overcome the beast in the same paradoxical way. To rule the beast by dying. And then by discovering that Jesus' life and power can become our life and power. So we can rule the world as God's partners, but Jesus style. In the power of service, humility, and self-giving love. So I think these guys are great. I think their material is great. Please go check out their YouTube channel. Here's another video of theirs. I will link up for you guys. If you want to go to their website, it's bibleproject.com. Also, here's another one of my videos if you guys want to look at more of my content too. God bless you.